Hi friends, welcome to the first ever season of Anytime, Anywhere Sunday School. My name is Pastor Abby Eccles and I'm so glad that you're here with us today. If you have your activity sheets or even a journal that you can sketch or draw or write in, uh, now would be a time to gather those items. And if you don't have them or if we don't have time for that today, that's all right. Hang back and enjoy today's lesson. We'll see you in a bit. Hi, and welcome back to Anytime, Anywhere Sunday School. I'm Ann, and today we're going to talk about God listening to our prayers. Now, I hope you remember the verse from last week or last month, and that you stored it in your heart so that you can refer to it, because today we have a new verse. And so today's verse is from Genesis 12, verse 2, and it says, I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. You ready to do it with me? I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. Let's do it one more time. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. All right, so if you'd like to pause the video and work out on your at-home activities, you can, and if not, Let's just go see Miss Janan, because I know she's got a song for us. Hi kids, Miss Powers here. I hope that you've enjoyed our theme song the last few weeks, and I look forward to seeing some of the challenges that may have been sent in. I don't have a challenge for you this week, but we do have a new song. So let's go ahead and get ready. <laughs> Don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Don't worry, instead pray. Don't worry, instead pray. Don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything tell god what you need and thank him for all he has done don't worry instead pray don't worry instead pray if you do this if you do this his peace will guard our hearts and minds as we live as we live, as we live in Christ Jesus. Don't worry, instead pray. Don't worry, instead pray. Instead pray. Instead, pray. How fun was that? Well, I hope you all learned from the words we just sang that God wants us to talk to Him. And how do we talk to God? We pray. And you can pray anywhere and everywhere about anything and everything. God's waiting to hear from you. Take it away, Anne. All right. Don't you just love Miss Jenny? And thank you so much. I just feel energized after um, singing a song. It just gives you energy. Okay, let's think about today. Hmm. Have you ever taken a trip not knowing where you were going to stay once you got there? And what's it like when somebody asks you to do something that you have never done before? Would you ask somebody to help you? Or would you try to figure it out on your own? Hmm. Well, how about pausing the video and um, thinking about those questions and maybe even writing it down in your journal. All right, well, I hope you had time to do that. And you know, every time I hear a Bible story, it seems like I learn something new each time. So let's go to Gil and Francis and see what they can tell us about Rebecca and Isaac. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to story time. Now, if you'll remember in our last episode, uh, mom, 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 dressing rooms over there, 
go, 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 go. Huh, okay. So, anyway, promised the land they were living in to all of Abraham's descendants that would number like the stars. But so far, Abraham had one descendant, Isaac, who was born in his old age. So, he thought, well, what are we going to do? This is how God worked it out. Uh, uh, Mr. Abraham! Uh, <coughs> Mr. Abraham, sir, uh, uh, you, uh, you wanted to see me. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, my long-time and most beloved servant. How are you, Bill? Bob. Bob. Uh. Uh, is there something I can do for you, is sir? There, uh, what did you have in mind, Bill? Bob. Uh, Bob. Uh, Mr. Abraham, you said you had a little something for me to do. Now, what might that be, sir? Huh? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. My, right. my son... Isaac, you know him. We've met. Yeah. It's time for that boy to get married. And I want him to marry someone from from our homeland. Uh, and you want me to help him prepare for the long journey? No, 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 no Bill. Uh -oh. Bob, uh -oh. there's no sense in Isaac going all that way just to find a wife. That boy has all the charm of a rock. Uh, now you... You, on the other hand, Bill, Bob, Bob <clears throat> should have no trouble in finding the perfect wife for my Isaac. Now go, depend on God, my boy. I, I would have never made it without him. You're telling me. So Bob set out for Abraham's homeland to find a bride for Isaac. But he also worried, how would he know the right person? And then it came to him, probably from God, that the first young woman that he met that offered him a drink of water and offered to water his camels would be the right one. And he did. He met a lovely young woman whose name was Rebecca. Isaac, Isaac. Come here, my boy, meet your new wife. Yeah, my son, well, uh, <clears throat> Pop, it's a cow. That's Moo Moo. The actress had to cancel. It's either the cow or the alligator. Uh, oh, well, come along, Moo Moo, uh, Rebecca, <laughs> and uh, I'll spring for a bale of hay or something. Moo Moo, Moo Moo, right back at you, kid. Don't you just love our Bible story team? They just do such a great job. Um, you know what? God always hears our prayers. And he answers our prayers. Now, sometimes we may not get the answer that we'd like, but God always answers in the best way for us. Now, in today's story, both Abraham and Abraham's servant have their prayers answered. Hmm. What would have happened if Abraham's servant had not done all the um, instructions or followed all the instructions that Abraham had given him? And what would have happened if Rebecca had ignored Abraham's servant? Hmm. Do you, um, have you ever asked God for help? How do you ask God for help? Is there something that you'd like to ask for help today? Hey, I think it's time to go to one of our FUMC families to see what they learned from the Bible story and how they're going to take it to live it out. Hi, kids. It is so good to be spending this time with you this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you're watching this right now. Um, I'm going to talk for just a minute about what it means to pray. Um, I know that people pray for a lot of things. You know, we, we learn in church how to say the Lord's Prayer and we, we say written prayers together. But I think what God really loves is when we just talk to God because that's really a prayer. And so a lot of days, what I have learned to do is to start my day by saying good morning to God. And that's like a prayer. I get up in the morning and before I even get out of bed, I say good morning, God. 
And then before I leave the house, I ask God to be with me when I go through my day. I ask God to make sure that I stay safe during the day. I ask God to watch over my family and my friends and my church. And I know that God hears everything that I ask for. And of course, God answers all of those prayers, even though I might not ever see God answer those prayers. Because you know what I've learned is really cool is that God asks us to share whatever is on our heart. And we know that when we share whatever's on our heart with God, that God hears our prayers and answers them the best way God knows how. Sometimes we don't know how God answers our prayers, and sometimes uh, we might not even be happy with the way God answers our prayers. But you know what? That doesn't mean God doesn't love us. What that means is, is that God always knows what's best for us. And so what I would say to you and what I used to say to my boys when they were growing up is when you get up in the morning, remember to say thank you for the day. Remember to ask God to be with you during the day, to, to know that God is with us during the day, and that when things are, are sometimes hard, the way things can happen during the day, to just say, God, please, please help me right now. I need some help and I need to do the right thing or say the right thing. And I know that God will answer your prayer in a way that you might not even realize it's God helping you. And so I hope that you will do that. I hope that you know how much God loves you. And I hope you know that God wants to talk to you. He wants to hear your voice and he wants to know that you love God. And so I hope that you will do that and that um, you will remember that you're never away from God because God is always with you. I'll see you soon, kids. All right, thank you so much. Wasn't that a great idea? Our families are really very creative, aren't they? Well, you know what? I think it's time to say goodbye. But before we do, let's pray. Will you pray with me? Dear God, you are so incredibly wise and loving. Thank you for guiding us to make good decisions. Help us to remember to ask you for help and to listen for your answers. We love you so much. Amen. Back to you, Abby. All right, awesome. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of Anytime, Anywhere, Sunday School. Now, as we end our time together today, we always end with blessings. So if you would lean close to your screen or you can sit right where you are and we'll give you blessings. Are you ready? Here we go. You are a blessing and God loves you so incredibly much. Thanks everyone. And we can't wait to see you again next week for another episode of Anytime, Anywhere, Sunday School. Bye, friends.